I've still not got a tripod. I'm gonna get this fixed, boys. Trust me, I'm gonna get this fixed. But what would you rich kids that think poor people are like dirt? Let's go. Today's rich kid going skint is a first year university student and a married mother of one. Oh, she already got a mo- Wait, what? Married mother of one. Okay, so that means she's a year old. Actually, no, to be fair, you can go to uni at any age, can't you? I don't know, man. I want to want a kid while I'm in education. I want to want a kid. I don't trust myself not to just punch it when it does something real. Do you see what I mean? I don't think I'm ready for a kid. I'm Maria. I'm um, 21 years old. She's leg. Oh, she's gone. I grew up in Russia. I later went on to boarding school in Switzerland. Then I went to high school in America. Okay, now we've got a bit of a gypsy on our hands here, boys. I'm going to crack open a chewing gum while we watch this bad boy. So you might hear me chewing throughout. I do apologize. I am recording, right? Because there's no point in me being here if I'm not recording. I'm not a loser. All right, there we go. And I came to England for university to. She's study pretty. Energy. She's good. As the good daughter looking. of wealthy Russian parents, Maria's always been cushioned in comfort. As a child, I basically got everything I wanted. Uh, I did not know that there is such a word as no. Well, you need to fix your teeth, darling. Like, you can spend your money elsewhere. You can forget your Dolce and Gabbana or whatever it's called. You just, why don't you spend that on your teeth? No, no, I'm picking faults on people. You know what a lot of people say, right? They, they get angry at people who are born rich. Oh, daddy's money, this, that. Like, no, but daddy grinded so his kids could live like this. So why are you sorry that your parents are retards? My parents worked really hard for me to have all of the best mm, things. There you go. And now my husband works very hard for me and for my daughter. So, you know, like, why not have them? Along with a London pad, Maria's parents have also provided her with a flat in Staffordshire where she's studying. But it's hard to hear out. Do you mean Switzerland, flipping America, or in Staffordshire? Bridge student digs. So this is my penthouse. There's three bedrooms here, two ensuite bathrooms, one guest bathroom, a nanny's room. A nanny's room? I have a nanny for my baby. I also have a maid uh, who comes in. She has a maid and this is, this is like student a comp. No, uh, cleans, cooks sometimes. I think it's super hard to be alone like a, like a mother without any help, you know. Maria definitely needs no help putting together a top-class designer wardrobe. Hers is a far cry from what most students would be wearing. Dolce & Gabbana was around £1,000. How is it £1,000 for that, man? Like, no, 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 fair enough. If you're paying for a, a logo, or at least something that looks out of the ordinary, calm. But this looks like something from Primark. There's a favourite here by Stella McCartney. It's she... £800. How? Oh, it just was like a little Primark blouse. It's a cloth. You're paying for a cloth. I'm sorry because I can't afford it. Maybe a thousand. A designer wardrobe always requires designer accessories. This is my All those shoes look the same. They just It's the same shoe. She just took them all to Yadamise to get a more different wraps. They are the same shoe. A recent baby. This was 14,000 pounds. 14,000 pounds for a flipping book bag. Did you work out? Oh, you can't get anything in that. Oh, that's so small. It's tiny. How much? I often forget to look at the price tag, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> the only reason we're on this channel is to afford one Audi RS3. We're not even going to own it. We're going to lease it, chances are. And she's just dropped 14 grand on a bag. A, a bag. Or half a bag. Bruv. Good to have it. So in total here, there's around 60,000, 70,000 pounds. Bro, you can get. That's a meter squared worth of property in London to what she's got those bags. Blimey. And there's definitely no expense spared either when it comes to clothing Maria's eight-month-old daughter, Sandra. This is just a small fraction of her things. Dolce & Gabbana, like warm winter suit kind of thing. There's another Dolce & Gabbana. This is a dress. I got for her and Harry. I can't. The thing is, I'm so broke. Yeah, I can't even imagine like living like. I can't. It's not even in my head to live like this. Like, even if I had a million pounds, would I spend like 800 of it on clothes? I'd rather have a big house. Like, I genuinely, I'd rather have a big house. This costs 1,500 pounds. <laughs> for that? Oh my God. Oh no, we're not even on the poor per people part yet. We're we're literally on the introduction, and I'm vexed. I like my baby to have the best things that are out there, the most exclusive, the most expensive. I got my first Chanel bag when I was five years old. Yeah, I like no. to keep that tradition going. I like her to have the best things as well. Can't the most expensive thing, or oh, well, what should we say? I think when I was in year nine, I had an, an iPhone 6. That was the most, that was second hand as well from a family member. That was the most expensive thing I owned that I cherished. It wasn't until I actually started working 
I started buying other things. I'll wait till she can actually hold on to something so I can get her her first Chanel bag. But now Maria will be bidding farewell to Haute Couture and Live In Nannies to educate herself on the struggles faced by a family surviving on benefits. I actually don't know anything about benefits. I uh, don't even know like how they work or what they are. Basically, right, you've got to be foreign. You come to this country, you play some tricks and boom, you're getting paid. Even though Sally down the road, who's got no legs, she's struggling. But the Romanian brother from thingy has got a Versace belt. I'm actually looking forward to like finding out about how it works. The rich kid does, however, have a few reservations about living on a council estate. When I think of poor family in a poor area, I automatically think of um, dirt. <laughs> that's so peak. That that's so no. But can you blame her? Like, like, can you understand? She had her first Chanel bag when she was like five or something, and like sixty grand worth of bags. So if she's gonna think of something that's like, oh, what should I think of? Like, let's say your school bag, all right? The, the bag you take to school or work or whatever. That's the, that's the same value as someone's house. You're obviously gonna think that oh, that's a bit dead then, innit? Do you know what I mean, mate? Cause she's got 60 grand's worth of bags, mate. That's how much a flipping council house is. People who don't take uh, care of themselves, like look wise. Living skint is definitely No, 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 to be that's not. Is she stupid? Like, actually, is she stupid? I don't think a homeless person chooses to look homeless. They just are homeless. Quite an education when rich kids go skint. This little one down here is Maddie. He's four. He's See, up. they look fine. They, they don't look like dirt. They look very formal, actually. Oldest son. Mm hmm. I've actually got something. Um, oh, wow. Thank you for having me oh, thank you. here. Oh, my gosh. And what do you say? Good boy. <laughs> that's amazing. Nice of them. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. So, this is our kitchen. Uh, well, my kitchen is uh, maybe three, four times as big. I just really enjoy the process of cooking, so yeah. I need my space. You do all your cooking yourself? Uh, well, not all of my cooking, but you sometimes when I'm in the you. mood, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I have a maid, and she oh, wow. usually... Wow, does she do your washing? Yeah, yeah, she cleans and sometimes she cooks. Oh, amazing. Yeah. I would love to have that for one day. So this is the older son's room. She's fair. Like... I'm liking it. I'm all, it's all right. I like how she's understanding that she's not being a twat. Apart from the dirt part, but we'll, we'll, we'll let that slide. Very spacious. So what's your baby's room like? Like there's a little walk-in uh, wardrobe. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, should I just tell her straight? Basically, you know the coat her baby wears? Worth more than the whole house, mate. She has her own wardrobe at eight months. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I think she has more clothes than me at oh this point. Gosh. Becky's younger son, Alfie, is suffering from a bad cold. Oh, God. It's just these kids are vaping these days. That's what it is, bro. Vaping, right? That's disgusting. If you're vaping... No, no, no. I appreciate a lot of people are doing it to relieve stress. But stop being a pussy and just do weed. I'm encouraging drugs. This is... No. Okay, no, no, no. Don't. Just vape. No, don't va Don't smoke. That's that's what I meant. Don't smoke. But unlike Maria, she doesn't have a nanny to help out with the demands of motherhood. Alfie is now 18 months and I've never had more than two hours away from him. Are you serious? Yeah, serious. That's dedication. But what about you? How do you find it having help? Well, it just means that I can, you know, do stuff. I can yeah. Go, go to class, I can go to party. I need to get away and I need to have time to myself. I feel like I need to have time to myself sometimes and sometimes it does get a bit much for me and I get a bit stressed and I just go and have a quiet five minutes if I can. So She's baffled me. She never heard anything like it. It is very stressful. It's such a small space and she has to do everything. She has to cook for the two kids, do the washing, clean, and all of that while the babies are like, I, I don't know. I don't know how she does it. She can't even process it, mate. Even I can't process it. Being a mother is a very hard job. Especially if you're 15 at the slag. My mum's texted me. I wonder what she said. What do you guys think she's must? She said, should we go Lidl or are you coming? We're not going Lidl, love. No, no. Busy. Slag. Right. Boom. Active. For Becky, the wealth divide between her and Maria is immediately obvious. I saw the way that she was dressed and the suitcase that she bought. And I was just thinking that's probably worth more than what I get in one month's money. Well, look on the bright side, love. At least you've both got shitty teeth. Maria's rich kid lifestyle is something Becky and Hammer could only dream about. They're keen to sit her down and find out more.
I usually spend around four or five thousand pounds a month. That's wow. mental. A month you're spending five grand. Let's okay. Let's just do five grand a month for twelve months. That's sixty grand. You're spending sixty k. That's more than everyone's salaries, mate. That's a lot of money. With that amount of money, I think that we would definitely be able to survive for at least seven to eight months yeah. on everything, on travel, bills, food, the whole lot. That's crazy to me. And you're spending that in four weeks. Yeah, I'm actually like trying. You're to cut to down, cut and down. that's me cutting down. Like oh, before. that's her with restrictions. That's her rations, mate. That, that's her with restrictions, lad. Like last year, we would usually spend um, around eight, nine thousand pounds a month. Wow. So what is it that you're not buying that you would actually like to buy, but you're figuring it's actually too expensive to buy? Oh, that's well, sometimes, like, I'll see a dress um, that costs, you know, I don't know. Twenty thousand pounds. Twenty grand dress. No jokes. So where did you get a twenty grand dress from? I didn't even know that was possible. I thought these it only goes to like five hundred, six hundred, and that's a that's it. Like a dress isn't a good. What about a car? What about a car or a house? Like I thought those those come at twenty grand. I don't know these clothes. You already have. You already have that dress. Are... twenty thousand pound. Yeah. Like evening gowns. You can oh, spy yeah. out. <laughs> evening gowns. 20 grand. My evening gown. I don't even have an evening gown. I just wear this in the evening. I don't know how this 30, 40 quid jumper. And this is one of my high end clothes as well. Do you know what I mean? Future in that. 20,000 pounds would last us more than one year. So, what's your most expensive item that you have purchased? A Birkin bag. Um, crocodile skin. Um, that one was 34,000 pounds. Oh, the bag. £34,000 on a bag. You can get an RS3 and give it a stage one remap. And I'm trying to think, what can you get for 34 grand? Are you actually serious? Yeah. My gosh, that is actually crazy. How many times do you go on holiday a year? Four or five times. Four or five times a year? Yeah. I love skiing. If the whole family is going, it'll cost us around 50000 Wow. That's actually crazy. That's wow. For a holiday. Well, and how, how long do you... The first words we've got out of the husband or day, mate. How long do you go for? Well, we usually go for like two weeks. So 50,000 how for two weeks or ten days? When rich kids... No, I'm just... That's why I'm not speaking. You know when I don't talk? That's when I'm actually baffled. Go skins. <laughs> How's he doing? I think he's over the worst of it now. Um... He's definitely a lot more better than yesterday. Mm -hmm. I also think it's a mixture of TV as well, though. He just needs to sleep and rest. If he doesn't improve, at least she's helping will take out, Ali to her local GP. But Maria's shocked to discover it won't be private healthcare that she'll be using. Growing up, when the doctor wasn't available, they would fly in a doctor for me. He's tired. But it's good. It's good that he's getting sleep. Yeah, definitely. I feel terrible that they have to go through the whole NHS experience and... Is it that bad? Do we know if the NHS is bad? I'm on the NHS as well, mate. I'm hoping to get out of this soon, though. Cannot go private. I didn't realise that people actually willingly, like, go to the NHS. <laughs> That's mental to me. I'm sorry, that's so mental. People willingly go to the... It's not... They're not willingly going. They just... What else is there? Like, if healthcare wasn't free in this country, the population would be 50%. No, flipping 10%. While his younger brother Alfie rests, Maria can't wait to show Maddie the bargain she found yesterday at the charity shop. It was told that you like Gruffalo. Do you like Gruffalo? Gruffalo bear. And then, since the winter is coming, I thought that you might need a warm jumper. Oh, look at him. He's so happy. He's so happy. He's never had a gift or anything. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, is that good? Yeah. He's loving it, mate. It's so big. <laughs> yeah, it's big. It's but... so big. It will fit Wait. you. Yeah. You can grow into it in a couple of years, can't you? Realising how little the family has to spend on clothes, Maria's decided to make a donation from her own wardrobe. So I got you a little something. Um, oh, please be the 40 grand bag. Oh, imagine the flipping universal credit with that, mate. Pulling up to the job centre and just holding that bad boy. This is a sweater um, from Laura Piano. It's cashmere. So what is cashmere? I've never really heard of that before. It's my favourite type of uh, 
material because wow. it's cozy, it's soft, and it's warm. It's... It looks very expensive. It was around four or five hundred pounds. Wow, for one jumper. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Please put it on Depop, darling. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank no, that is nice what she's done, that's very good. She's polite. absolutely amazing. <laughs> she's so lovely. Um, I was really worried about when she come in, but she's so down to earth and we've got quite a lot I of I wouldn't say down to earth. I know she is down to earth, she's trying, I like that. She did try to do that. She was just in shock as to how the other half are living, do you know what I mean? Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, I'm sorry, this can't run. We're gonna have to sort this camera angle out. I've noticed, because when I have this angle, the, the content is dead, mate. So we're going to sort that out for next video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. If you didn't, drop a dislike. That the button's there to use. It's free. Go ahead. Literally nobody's stopping you. Pretty sure that the ones are...